All right, since I talked about some slightly less than 30 caliber hunting cartridges yesterday, we're gonna go big today. We're gonna start with probably the quintessential big game cartridge. And that's the 375 Holland and Holland Magnum. Uh, 375, uh, typically if you're gonna go out and about in Africa for dangerous game, you're probably not gonna be get your permits from the government to go from their respective governments to deal with dangerous game unless you are rocking a 375 or bigger. So 370, but because of that, understand a 375 Holland and Holland will drop anything on the planet if you put the bullet in the right place. Um, I mean, would I want it with a Cape Buffalo bearing down on me? No, but as much as I like the 308 or 30 out six, the 300 Win Mag, or even 338 Lapua, I would definitely rather have that 375 Holland and Holland in that case. Um, 375 Holland Holland, it's been around quite a while. Uh, it was designed in 1912, uh, been in production as a hunting cartridge for 110 years. You can still find new made rifles chambered for it. Uh, I know Winchester does a Model 70 in it. Uh, I don't know if they still do, but I know CZ uh, did a CZ 550 in it. Um, it it's, it's, it's a very effective round. I mean, it's been doing the job for a long time. Bullet weights that I'm seeing run between 270 and 350 grains. So this is, this is a stout chunk of lead. Uh, 270 grain bullet, you're looking at about 2,600 feet per second, 26 and a quarter, somewhere thereabouts. But here's where you get, like, this is this is the, a light one, right? And it's delivering 4,132 pound-feet of energy. This is just nasty. You step up to a 300, 300 grain bullet, you don't lose all that much velocity. You lose about 65 feet per second. So you go from 26 and a quarter to about 25 and a half. So you lose about 75 or so. Um, the one I'm seeing is 25.60. So you, you lose a little bit of velocity, but you gain another 230 pound feet of energy. Um, you go to a 350 grain bullet and you, you're gonna lose a little bit of energy there, but you're gonna gain a lot more penetration. Uh, 2,300 feet per second out of that 350 at 41.12. So uh, very, very, very powerful round. Um, I know it's common uh, for African hunting African hunters to end up moving with the 375 Holland and Holland because it holds more rounds. And while we would like to sit here and think that we won't miss when we're getting charged by some very dangerous animal, that's actually a very likely occurrence, which one of the reasons double rifles and even bigger calibers are so popular because they offer an immediate follow-up shot without having to cycle in action. But the three, the 375 Holland and Holland is, is a very well-known cartridge, very highly respected cartridge. And while do I think I would use it around here? No, I don't think there's anything big enough to warrant it, but I would definitely have one by the bedside if I lived in bear country.